Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what I want to do now, if the person is authenticated, I want my navigation to update to a login. If they're not, if they are, to a locker. Okay. So let's go to our components. So in our nav right here, I just added a flex with justify in between. So in here, I'm just going to create a div with no classes. And what I want to do is I want to bring in my auth hook. Okay. So let's just create a constant. So in here, I want to check the user and I want to call on the method called lockout. And I want to bring in that. So I'm just going to say use auth. Okay, so I'm not going to add any middleware. So let's quickly, as you can see, use auth is not defined. So let's define that. So import, right, use auth. And what we want to do, we want to do that from, we need to go outside this folder, go to the hooks folder. And inside that, or like that. Okay, so that's basically that part right there. Now, in our user, we want to check if the user is there. All right, we want to do a ternary operator. Okay, so if the person is authenticated, we want to just show a button of lock out. So let's do that. An anchor tag. To remember the anchor tag, reason why I'm using it, I'm not really going anywhere. I just want the person to click on it. All right, to, to able to lock out. Okay, so lock out. Let's do this. Let's do a sign out. Okay, just like that. All right, and let's move this a little bit down, and let's give it some classes as well. So if there's just a hover state, so we're just going to say hover, and just a font bold. Okay. Now we just want to say if they click on this button, so on click. All right, so on click, what do we want to do is we want to call on our hook lockout method right there. Okay, so if they click on this button, that's what we want to do. Now, the next thing, if they are not authenticated, we want to create a, basically a link because we want them to go somewhere. And where we want to go, that let them go to, we want to go to our login page. Okay, like that. Inside here, I'm just going to create an anchor tag since we don't need the href. Just want this to be, let's say, sunny. Okay, just like that. So hopefully this works. Let's try. As you can see, we've got our sign in because the person is not there. All right, so let's quickly go to my hook again. So let's go to our hooks page in our auth hook right here. So as you can see, if the person is logged in, we will go to the dashboard page. Now I haven't created this page, so let's quickly do that. Because otherwise we're going to get a four or four page not found. So I'm just going to create a dashboard dot js and let's quickly create this folder, this file, this component actually. So dashboard. All right, and I'm just going to say dashboard page like this. Dashboard page. All right. So if the person is logged in, I'm not getting a four or four unnecessary. So if you want to redirect it to any other page, right, you can do it right here. So let's close off our auth hook. Right, so let's quickly sign in with the user. So in this case, I'm going to say john at example.com. So that's the right one. And his password is password. So if I log in, I'm supposed to be redirected to the dashboard page. So log in. As you can see, I'm at the dashboard page right there. So everything works. So let's quickly go to our home page. Let's go to our home page. As you can see, it this changed to sign out. So if I hover right there, obviously not the prettiest thing, but we're not going for that. We just want to learn. Right. So as you can see, if I sign out right now, so as you can see, it changed to sign in at a blink of an eye. Okay. So if I go to the sign in again, so I can be able to log in. All right. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up, do all the YouTube stuff and see you in the next one. Adios.